And despite this morning shootings, IEPD tonight insisting downtown is safe. But it, and it has the statistics to prove it. But CBS 4's Russ McQuaid met with one woman who begs to differ. This is 327 North Illinois Street, where a woman was parking her car on her way to work last Monday morning when she was attacked. I never saw him coming, ripped my clothes open, punched me in the face several times. We had one witness to the assault. Um, came across around the corner in the garage um, and heard me screaming and stopped and um, yelled that he was going to call the police. The woman said she picked her assailant out of a photographic lineup and a detective told her they know who he is. That he's a vagrant homeless person that wanders the streets of downtown Indianapolis. But because the eyewitness didn't get a good look at the man and his identification didn't match up with the victims, the woman was told the Marion County prosecutor won't touch the case. There really isn't much of a system is the way I'm looking at it. I mean, I feel kind of cheated, honestly. The statistics show downtown is safer now than it was a year ago, but that might be because there are fewer people around due to the pandemic shutdown, curbed hours at restaurants and bars, and empty office buildings. And here, in a garage connected to Circle Center Mall, a homeless man held a knife to a four-year-old's throat on February 12th. Until the child's grandmother told me she wrestled the assailant to the ground and another person arrived to hold the man at gunpoint until police arrived. Everyone knows that, you know, parking garages all over the world are a problem. So on a daily basis, our, our district cars are out there and they're patrolling these, these, all of these garages. I've never seen a police officer inside our garage. I've never seen any of our, it, my personal garage patrolled. I don't feel safe going back and forth to work. The woman whose left eye and cheekbone are still bruised says she feels cheated, that she's identified her attacker and he won't be prosecuted, and she fears he'll do it again. In downtown Indianapolis, Russ McQuaid, CBS 4 News.